What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a, another video on the channel. Today we're going to be doing a few little bits on the Suzuki Swift. I think this is one of the sort of first things that you should do if you're planning on buying a car and keeping it for a long time and two if you take pride in how the car looks. So there are a few stone chips on this car and I got recommended this Chipex stone chip kit paint chip repair system by a very well um, regarded, very highly regarded car detailer, um, Bespoke Detailing Solutions. I think that's the right title. Um, <laughs> Also got some PPF like the door recesses, you know where you get your feet in and out of the car um, And also got some of these, these are really cheap, like three quid or something on eBay Just PPF cut into the shape of like door handle recesses so that when you're you know, putting your hands in You're not scratching it with like rings and, and your nails and things like that But yeah anyway I'll put Bespoke Detailing Solutions below The family friend is one of my dad's closest and oldest friends um, And yeah he recommended this Chipex to me, apparently it's quite a good colour um, match You know like one of the best colour matches made in the UK as well which is really cool and uh, yeah I'm gonna run around the Suzuki Swift today and try it out and see what it's like so hopefully uh, you get a little bit of something out of this video for yourself maybe I've given you an idea of something that you can use on your own car and it's certainly something that I'd recommend even before trying it just because I've seen the results my dad's friend gets with it when I mean it's highly regarded I mean he details multi-million pound cars um, one of the most recent ones he had was an Aventador SVJ I think I think it's one of, one of five anyway crazy let's get into it let's see if this stuff is any good <laughs> so if it'll focus it's just little things like that they are two very small little stone chips it's finding it difficult to focus because of the uh, reflection of the light but they are two very small little stone chips just under the door handle on the driver's side so you know obviously it's happened when someone's grabbed the door handle the wrong way or something but it's just that sort of stuff really it's a tiny little chip here it's that sort of stuff that we're going to touch up and make it look 100% again or he thought he was going to do stuff on the uh, Swift to do with pain and wet pain and stuff like that. Welcome to um, England. <laughs> I think the uh, the weather just had to. Oops, it's a bit too bright. But <laughs> I think the weather just had to um, remind me that Dan, you live in England. You should really be doing this in a unit under cover. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. What can you do? Take two. Whenever it happens. <laughs> Day two. So it says you can use the blending solution as like a prep. So this is the blending solution here. So this step two you can use sort of a step sort of as a step zero. And what I've done is, is I've gone around all the stone chips on the car because the car I've not cleaned the entire car before doing this because I didn't want to risk things like a slight ceramic coating getting into it or a wax coating from like the soap mixed in with waxes that I I use, you know, that I favour. I'm quite lazy when it comes to washing cars, I do like a, a soap that's mixed with a wax just in case I don't have enough time to give the car a wax, so I give the car a quick, you know, spray on jet off ceramic coat like you see with like Meguiar's products or um, Dodo Juice, Futurama and things like that. Anyway, that aside, this is what you do. You use this particular solution with the blue cloth to give it a pre-clean if you like on all the little chips. So that's what I've just done. And then the next step is to apply paint. So step one, as it says there, once we've um, cleaned the repair areas, we then move on to the paint. So that's what I'm going to do now. Now that that's done, I've gone around the entire car, basically dabbing the little stone chips with um, with this little thing here. It's like a little furry cotton bud, but really, really tiny. And so yeah, so I've applied that, shaken this well before applying it, obviously. Now you've got to use this little foam block and the, um, it's like a little, it's not a microfiber, it's like a little silk cloth. And you sort of wrap it around like you would do if you were doing a um, ceramic coat and really gently glide over with the step two blending solution. That way it takes off the minimum amount of paint and takes it off nice and flat, nice and level so that you get the right finish on the paintwork and you don't remove too much paint. And so there's like a series of like stone chips just along this edge here. It's like a, you know, a back door. And so I've, I've been going around, as you can probably see, with this here. This has got the little foam cube inside and you just sort of wrap it around it, sort of, you know, tight so that you've got a, a flat edge. I can do it one-handed, there we go. So you want it like that, and then you put the solution on it and you rub flat, nice and gently, not applying any pressure, just over the surface of this freshly painted section just until it takes the uh, the edge off of all the paint once that's 
nice and smooth, you can then um, just give it a slight polish um, with the third stage. So now moving swiftly on to the third stage, you basically use this polishing compound and the microfiber and go over all the little chips and things like that that you've painted up and, and gone over briefly and just polish up all the little areas that need it just to take the top off of it, you know, take the edge off, um, flat it out nice and smooth and make it all presentable. So here's the uh, the chipped door handle that I showed you previously. You might just be able to make out the repair, like in the shadow, but trust me when I say that you, you cannot see it. You would not be able to see it unless you knew exactly where it was and you know you had a good idea of what you were looking for. So yeah, really, really good repair in my opinion. And I definitely, definitely recommend it to a friend, um, just as I was recommended um, by Bespoke Detailing Solutions, um, this particular product. It's just really easy, really simple to use. I won't lie to you, I did have to use it on the same spot two or three times, just because I kept going a bit OTT with the, uh, the stage two solution. Ended up rubbing it to death and taking it out. <laughs> but it's pretty much foolproof from that perspective and that you can keep reapplying it if you, um, you know, go a bit OTT like I did. But yeah, good job. So I definitely recommend this to a friend. Would I recommend the, the cheap little um, handle covers? No, definitely not because I've wasted three of them trying to put them on under the door handles. The plastic's just way, way too thin to try and get it to flat out, it'd rather fold over itself, which is really, really annoying. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and use the plastic that I bought for the door apertures. It's gone like the, um, you know, the sills if you like. I'm gonna try and cut some shapes that hopefully will work. And um, because it's a thicker plastic, it'll be more uh, malleable. I think that's the correct word for it. I'll be able to pull it off, put it back on, maybe put a bit of heat into it, get it to stretch and, and deform a little bit so it sort of fits the contour of the, uh, the door handle. But yeah, I, um, I ruined three just trying to get one on. So of the four I bought, <laughs> it didn't go very well. And I, I bought thought I bought four of you know under the impression that I would probably end up acquiring one, maybe two, but not three of them just trying to fit one. So I need two. <laughs> I've only got one left. So yeah, I'll use that as a little bit of a template. Try and cut some out of the thicker stuff that I bought for the sills. And uh, fingers crossed that works. But this stuff, a novice detailer could do it. Um, you can you know rinse and repeat basically, and, and continue to to work at it to get it. Right and, and to um, make it work and the colour the colour um, of this product for this particular car which I thought would be a, a horrendous colour to try and match the colour match is actually really really decent it's not exactly perfect obviously because you've got the clear coat over the top of the normal um, colour itself so it's never going to be 100% perfect but you know with it being a, a single a single shot sort of colour if you like but yeah really really good so that concludes today's video anyway thank you very much thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Um, you know, if you've seen this online, maybe you thought it's pricey. It's definitely worth it in my eyes. Just for the, just for like a, a, a colour touch-up pen from a manufacturer, you're looking between 10 and 20 quid. So to pay like 40 quid for this and it comes with, you know, everything that you need really, um, it's definitely worth it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit the thumbs up if you liked this video and it gave you a little bit of, uh, you know, information um, if you liked it. And check out the thanks button below as well. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.